You can connect to the system by choosing the option from the menu. Under Functions, you can find all system functions. You can turn off the system, replace a carrier, or start the function to replace the pressure bottle, or to disconnect the gas hose. In Settings, you can enter custom temperature control values, auto stop programs after they are finished, and choose plot options. Also, you can start a remote server to monitor your process from another computer or mobile device. The accessories menu will show any additional hardware when connected. In this area, the current and set point temperatures are shown. Also, the amount of power required to control the temperature at the given set point is displayed. At the moment the system is in single set point mode, as is shown here. You can change the current set point by simply changing the value. In this area, you can find any available programs which are saved on the actual hardware. From this menu, programs can be started, edited and deleted or a new program can be created. When the programs are clicked, a small preview is shown above. In edit mode, you have three options to edit a program. Arbitrary. Here you simply draw a curve. Using increment, you can define the starting temperature, the value of the increments, the number of increments, and the time to stay at a certain temperature. With intervals, you simply define the time and temperature in a table format. Additionally, you can define specific PID control settings for your program. At the bottom, the current bottle level is displayed, as well as the gas line pressure and the vacuum pressure. To cool down your loaded sample, click the Start Temperature Control button. The system will start by evacuating the vacuum chamber. All monitor data is fully synced between the hard and software. Pumping down to a pressure of 10 to the power minus 3 millibar, takes about 1 minute. At this vacuum level, the system starts pressurizing the stage, which initiates cooling. 